I'm here with Dave Goldberg, the CEO of SurveyMonkey, the online questionnaire business, which after a recent financing was valued at more than a billion dollars. You're a tech guy, Dave, but you used to be in the music business. There's a lot of music here. This is your first time here since your music days, right? Yeah, it's uh, it's totally changed. I mean, this is, used to be like the preeminent place for music, and I think as the music business has changed, and I'm not in the music business more, I... I stopped coming and now it's really been taken over by the the internet um, and it's much more of a internet conference now than a music conference including like a party last night that felt like a music conference party but was an internet conference. a late party. night one yeah uh, the you know you're an entrepreneur you're an investor you've worked at big technology companies at the end of the day what are you hoping to get out of being at South by Southwest well I think you get to influence a lot of people in the technology business I mean there's been a lot of great speakers here I gave a speech yesterday talking about the, the value of using um, explicit data like surveys with implicit big data and how you can kind of combine those two things to get better answers. You know, I think a lot of people gave a lot of very interesting presentations here during the conference, and I think you get the message out to a very broad group of people when you're here. So there's buzz at South By. There's also a little bit of buzz in your life because some people may have seen you on 60 Minutes last night along with your wife, Sheryl Sandberg of Facebook, who just wrote a book, Lean In. Um, what's the reaction you've been getting to that appearance? Um, well, I think, you know, my wife is doing a great service for everybody. I think she's really starting um, a, a, a huge conversation in this country that's necessary. And uh, I think the reaction's been incredibly positive. The book is number one on Amazon. Um, and I think she's she's going to have that conversation. It's going to continue for a long time. So I'm really excited for her. You're not surprised that there's this conversation that's been sparked as a result? No, I mean, I think it's something that we don't talk about enough. Um, in fact, Cheryl talks about in her book the fact that we are afraid to talk about gender in the workplace. It's it's a kind of a taboo thing, and in particular, men who even want to do the right thing feel hamstrung by, you know, HR or legal issues to sort of, you know, get women to lean in. So we, we, we need to have this dialogue, and we need, we need to do more to get people to talk about Knowing that this would spark a conversation, did you guys even talk at home, you know, about the possibility of if she wrote this book, this would happen? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I've been hugely supportive of her writing this book. I mean, it's obviously taken a lot of, of her free time away from, you know, other things that we do. But it's been, I think, an incredibly powerful thing to sort of have her help people. The reaction she's gotten, um, even just from last night, but also I think as people are reading the book and it's out today, uh, I, I think it's going to help a lot of a lot of women and men. I think it's going to, men, men need to read the book too. It's really valuable for men as well. Well, Cheryl often tells us that you're a good guy. And we know you, you're a good <laughs> guy, but does she still have to remind you to do your chores? <laughs> we have a we have a pretty good system for figuring this stuff out, but to be fair, and she talks about this book, and it wasn't like something that just sort of naturally happened. Like, you have to kind of work at these things in the house, and I, I had the advantage of growing up with uh, my my parents sort of sharing these responsibilities, so I had that model, but most people didn't.